Hey everybody, it's Phil Town again with another investing education video. Today I'm sharing an interesting observation, I think, about the stock market and its effect on us as Rule One investors. And if you want to hear more, keep watching. There's some smarter people out there than me, and I read them. And one of them is Ray Dalio, one of them is Warren Buffett. And those guys are both basically saying, look, prepare yourself for what might happen in 2023. Ray Dalio is the best macro investor in the world. That is, he looks at the whole big picture, interest rates, all the things we never look at, and concludes certain things are gonna happen in the relatively short term. And what Dalio is saying about this next year, next year, next two years, is that the Federal Reserve isn't really gonna have much choice. They're painted into a corner they're going to have to continue to keep rates high in order to keep inflation down and get it down to where they need it. And if that's the case, then the market is going to be reflecting that. It's going to reflect that by having certain industries not perform as well as the Wall Street guys think they will, and they're gonna sell them. And when they do, we're sitting here waiting. The, the other guy, so that's Dalio. The other guy we really like to watch is Buffett. And Warren is in, cash with about $110 billion. It's roughly two and a half times more cash than he's ever had in his life to hold on to, right? He's always found things to invest in. He's not finding much to invest in um, recently because of the, the values of the companies are well below the prices that this market is paying for them. So, okay, we'll just wait patiently with Buffett. And he's sitting there with 110 billion. We're sitting there with a lot of cash. We'll wait patiently. If indeed they keep interest rates high or make them higher, the market will start to stumble. Consumers will have less money to spend. Um, that means there'll be less jobs eventually. That means uh, there'll be less profits. And that means these company prices will start to come down. And a funny thing about the stock market that is really important that you understand is that it is not a really uber rational place like the ivy league professors think the stock market is all rational you like know, i think these guys who graduate from harvard would never sell something for a hundred dollars that's worth two hundred dollars they would just never do it the fact is the market is made up of humans and even harvard graduates are human and therefore they're emotional and therefore the market is emotional and that little remarkable truism um, was at the basis for the research done by the guy who got the 2017 Nobel Prize in Economics. It's like proving that the market is emotional. And that means that this market will start to see a problem as things start to slow down. And when they see a problem, they can get scared, right? They've got all this money invested. They need to get it out, move it to bonds, move it somewhere else. And because they have so much money, they are the market. And if you are the market, it's very hard to get out. It's like trying to get out of a crowded theater after somebody shouts fire. Everybody's trying to go through one exit. <clears throat> so if you're having trouble getting out, that means, and you know you will, that means you need to be early. And so the market starts to, you know, they're gonna anticipate what's gonna happen, which creates fear. Now what Warren Buffett taught us <clears throat> is that we want to sell when the market's greedy and we wanna buy when the market's fearful. So 2023 has a decent chance of having a fearful market. And when that happens, when that means is, as they get fearful, these guys are gonna sell this stuff off. Now this happens regularly. And when it does, this economic storm starts to happen. It's going to rain gold for a little while. And our job is to be out there with the biggest dang bucket we can come up with, right? And we want you guys to think about that same thing. We want you to think, Wow, 2023 could be one year that happens once every decade. And if that happens, it's the time to start creating generational wealth. What you do in this year, if this year turns out to be a real tumble in the market, what you do in this year, buying, let's say, five to 10 great companies, companies that are obviously wonderful, and you just buy them when they're obviously on sale because the market tumbles. If you were to do that, the last time this happened was actually 12 years ago. And the students of ours that did that compounded money at 32% a year for the next 12 years. 
that took $100,000 and turned it into almost 1.9 million. I mean, think about that, you guys. This is like, this could be the year for you to change the financial direction of not just your life, but the life of your children. I mean, generationally down the road. So I, I think this is something that's gonna be a real, real interesting to see what happens. Do we invest expecting these things to happen and hoping they happen? No, we just wait patiently, knowing what we wanna buy and when it goes on sale because things happen, we're there. That's it for this week's video. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. If you're finding this content valuable, please make sure to subscribe below for weekly educational content. Follow us on the rest of our social media platforms. It's all linked down in the description.